Ukrainian army destroyed Russia's $600 million S-500 SAM system with ATA CMS. The Ukrainian Defense Forces have probably destroyed the Russian new generation S-500 anti-aircraft system. This was reported by the Telegram channel of Division Tivaz. According to the Telegram channel, the Russian SAM was destroyed with the help of ATA CMS missiles with a cluster warhead. However, the location of the complex was not specified. Russian media and military officials have not yet commented on the destroyed hardware. It is reported that the newest Russian S-500 air defense system was destroyed by ATA CMS cluster missiles. The cost of one of these reaches $600 million, Andriy Saplienko, a Ukrainian journalist, said on his Telegram channel. Petro Andriyushchenko, advisor to the mayor of Mariupol, also reported the destruction on Telegram but prefaced his comments by saying, We are waiting for pictures from the satellite because certain parts of the S-500 and S-400 are similar. But even if it's the S-400, it's also awesome. The Ukrainian news site Ukrainian National News reported a serious fire at a possible Russian air defense position on the airfield in Zankoy in occupied Crimea, citing the Crimean Wind Monitoring Group who had published a satellite image of the fire. It suggested this could possibly be related to the S-500 attack as it occurred near locations where an S-400 system had previously been destroyed. The head of Ukraine's Defense Intelligence Directorate, Kirill Budinov, had said on June the 15th that Russian forces had deployed at least part of its latest S-500 anti-missile system to Crimea to compensate for the number of S-300 and S-400 systems that had been destroyed by Ukrainian forces. According to Budinov, the S-500 was likely stationed in Russian-occupied Crimea to safeguard the Kirsch Bridge that links the peninsula to mainland Russia. Not only does the bridge provide a key supply route, it also has a high prestige value to President Vladimir Putin. The S-500 anti-missile complex, also known as the Prometi or 55R-6M Triumphator M, is a new generation Russian surface-to-air missile system that has taken more than a decade to bring into service. It is designed to protect critical infrastructure and military assets from a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, ballistic and cruise missiles. It is claimed to have a response time of less than four seconds, more than half of that of the S-400 Triumph, with a range of 600 kilometers against ballistic missiles and 500 kilometers for air defense. The war in Ukraine overturned the myth created by Russia about T-14 Armata tanks. Russia's Soviet-era main battle tanks, such as T-55s, T-62s, T-72s, T-80s and T-90s have been decimated by Western-supplied anti-tank weaponry during the Ukraine invasion. The national interest media outlet said this. It is noted that the deployment of the latest T-14 Armata tanks was short-lived with claims they were too valuable for continued use. Despite the Kremlin's claims of the T-14's superiority, recent reports suggest that upgraded versions are being developed, but economic constraints and international sanctions cast doubt on these plans. The T-14, first introduced in 2015, boasts advanced features like an unmanned turret, and high survivability but has yet to prove effective on the battlefield. If the T-14 series was as robust as the Kremlin would like to purport, more of these tanks would still be deployed in the war considering the state of Russia's rapidly dwindling main battle tanks arsenal. According to a recent report published in the Bulgarian military, Rostec is allegedly making strides in incorporating several upgrades into the Armata platform. The report suggests that an upgraded T-14 tank design is being developed with a more powerful 152mm barrel and a stealthier turret which can fire ammunition over a meter long. This includes advanced high explosive and thermobaric projectiles with remote detonation and powerful armor-piercing finned projectiles with a core length of 1024mm made by Rosatom. The new 152mm caliber BOPS is made from very strong and heavy materials, possibly including depleted uranium. Its effective range is around 5 kilometers. Considering the current state of Russia's economy and manufacturing output, however, these new and improved Armata plans appear murky at best. Since the invasion commenced back in February 2022, sweeping international sanctions imposed on Moscow have sharply impacted the country's financial growth. The Kremlin has also poured so many resources in the war over the last two and a half years and is unable to maintain additional output across the board. If the T-14 series, 
was not superior enough to remain on the front lines of the conflict last spring, it seems unlikely that Russia would pour its limited resources into developing a new variant. 